you have entered the Chronics rabbit hole. And Dan, thank you so much for bringing something new down the rabbit hole. The band's name is Assurance, and this song that just came out two weeks ago is called Amelia. Thank you so much, Dan, for sending us a new band. I can't wait to get into Assurance. This is the official music video. Dan, we appreciate this write-up that you gave for us for this new band called Assurance. It's a nice-looking three-piece band here. Mm -hmm. So here is the write-up so all the Chronicans know what we're about to get into. Okay. Anticipation is reaching a fever pitch for Assurance's upcoming EP from Ruin Volume 2. Set to hit the shelves on April 12th, 2024, the band hailed as breakthrough newcomers have been dominating the underground music scene in 2024 with their signature blend of earth-shaking baritone guitar riffs, nice. emotive lyricism, and groove-infused drumming. With, with notable performances alongside heavyweights like Overthrown, Martyr Defiled, and 500, Assurance has solidified their position as one to watch. Ooh. Assurance has dropped their new single, Amelia, in preparation for the upcoming EP and independently orchestrated a four-date headline tour in April. Cool. Further to this, Assurance have launched their own festival, The Sanctum Modern Metal Meet garnering support from industry giants such as uk tech fest and bulin tunes cool very ambitious so far what i'm hearing and these are the band members before jumping into the song kane anthony is the vocalist joe hammett is the guitarist and martin nicholson is the drummer Ooh, this is so cool to get into i'm really excited to see this three piece especially knowing that they're gonna have like the deep bass great guitar and the very emotive lyricism in it yeah. this is going to be absolutely phenomenal a lot of these three-piece bands that have been coming down the rabbit hole have been absolutely slaying it and just with how expressive they are to kind of um what was the word you used how sorry ambitious oh yeah okay I said expressive, I meant ambitious. And with how ambitious they are to be starting their own festival wow. and um, creating all these tour dates by themselves without even having anyone to put it together for them really shows just how in sync they really are as a band. I'm so excited to get into this. Thank you so much, Dan. Here's Amelia. Chronicans, I'm so excited to have Assurance come down the rabbit hole for the very first time. Yes. This is gonna be epic, especially with that amazing write-up we just had. So head over to Assurance's channel, give them some love, give them a like, support this video. Let's get it on the charts and get it rocking because this is going to be absolutely phenomenal. I'm very excited for this. Something new. Let's see if we like it, y'all.
Oh, indeed. What are you owing about? This is such a cool piece because, uh, again, they sound so much bigger than a three piece. Don't they? They sound like a full, like. Yeah, like, because even the layering of that singing at one part, because he can sing clean and growling. And then there was a moment where it felt like the green, the clean and the growling were kind of happening together. Absolutely. And it also sounds like there's like um, a backtracking of like a female vocalist or some kind of something behind there. Uh, Like a nice keyboard, too. Yeah. So it sounds like it's way more than a three piece. But knowing that this is just a three piece really shows just how um, powerful they really are. Absolutely. Um, I love the song Amelia and that they're using a a ballerina within it because I don't know if you know much about ballet, but ballet is an extremely difficult dance. Absolutely. Style. And um, there was a lyric in there. Very painful. Yeah. And the lyric in there was like, like a thorn in my side um, stretching into my bloodline. And I'm not sure exactly what the song is about, but I know when you're a ballerina and you're, having to dance like it is extremely painful uh, especially when you're just learning before you kind of build up the strength to do it so right. it is that thorn in your side that's kind of going through as you're having to take the hit every day and then keep getting wow. on for the practice and stay just like any sport but ballet is such a unique piece and then seeing the girl just sitting there with her out her ballet shoes on just fully barefoot in the rain on the side of the road very like, true yeah. those moments when you're real pain that real pain that you go through and it's finally that release as you can have your bare feet on the cold pavement so that's yeah. like i see such... what you mean and i think it had a lot to do with that because if you notice the black white and red are the three colors yes. that are sticking out here the most well red is the only real color sticking out here and that really is a pain in the morning type yeah. of a feel and i love that you brought the pain that a valerie ballerina kind of goes through and then needing to sit in the cold rain like that's such a good visual to yeah that's probably is what's going on because i think this was like a relationship based or something like that i think it's just the physical pain of going through life yeah yeah, and everything you have to endure and even enduring it silently on your own because a ballerina never shows that they're in pain yeah that's part of the whole performance i guess absolutely and y'all can let us know what exactly this song is about if you do know too but we're loving what we're hearing and i loved on the musical side how it was so slow and abrupt like and then it had that abrupt kind of change and then now it's kind of leading into a bit more rocky and then the genty type of music we're used to from dan came in here but like it had a complete different feel from the this is a different feel than i've ever really heard absolutely i love the um soft vocals that were almost like a whisper in behind that you really had to struggle to hear but it was like the correct struggles there we go here we go oh yeah i'm so glad you found that out Nice. Smart. 
Don't play the final beat. Keep it, it is that it was in. a bit of an ease, wasn't that? It was. Colors play so much to mood and emotion and psychology. Like a, there's a whole show called Euphoria that's like a whole season's based on like a color, and each character has Absolutely. a color that is like follows with them, and that's what Amelia really felt like with the red here and red means so much and emotion we even talk about if you have red in your room how it can just cause the anger just by cause, looking at it. absolutely it can really drive and cause anger frustration things like that red is a power color yeah and that's yeah. the thing about red red is a power color so it has the power to tell you to stop and like if you look at a red light for example like in the video very it, true stop, well said but it's also a power color so yeah. when i when i worked at honda i only wore red right when i was selling cars because red is the color of honda but it's also a power color within the psychology it's of arousal things. as well it is and it's arousal as well and, yeah. and so like this is so cool that they were showing being in this position where uh, i'm going to go on a whim here and say like this ballerina yeah i love that had, story here it is <laughs> this ballerina is probably um someone a girl who's trying to live up to the expectations of the bloodline to continue being like the professional of or in dance or yeah. music or something along that lines that has been that thorn in her side to keep her to keep pushing no matter how painful it is but then wanting to stop but not wanting to give up the power that she has earned from doing yeah. the thing that she's been doing for so long well said so it's kind of like that moment of do i continue on with this expectation and and i'll even take the band title their name assurance sure. is to have yeah. that assurance of continuing the bloodline forward and the expectations forward within everything that amelia is going through right so if you're taking this as like an outer source personification that's kind of what the, the story feels like for me but this band being a three piece and showing how much power that they have coming together and creating something this gorgeous yet this reserved in the sense it was of so what reserved, we're wasn't used it? to. Yeah, like I was expecting it to get very thrashy and genty, but this was such a nice change up. And I think yes. when the three people you started getting goosebumps towards I, the end. Was that the vocals that was getting to you, or so was that the whole moment? I had goosebumps actually the whole time. Wow. And I only really showed at the end. Okay, awesome. Because there is something about this. This is the style, like it's an underground metal kind of style of music that has that gentiness to it. Yeah. But it is actually a style of music that would go very well in a ballet or a Broadway style. I agree, very, like, yeah. Um, if it was like a metal version of Phantom of the Opera, kind of contemporary right. type piece. Yeah. So this is beautifully done in a way that you don't normally expect from metal or um, different, that yeah. style of music, especially from a three piece. A lot of no three kidding. pieces we've seen have also been like the Omnific who did like the two the uh did two bass guitars and the drummer right oh is... god you remember that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but this is completely different having yeah. the vocalist one guitar and the drummer but they're bringing up something that's so unique and powerful that they feel like a full five piece band yeah i wish i focused more on the drum because even the keyboard started coming in and taking over for me too because yeah. it sounded great as well and i we know like you're allowed to add other effects as a three piece, but I know if I would love to watch this again and focus Absolutely. more on the drums because the guitar came through for me pretty well and Kane was slaying it on the He's vocals. He played it the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Like this was amazing to listen to. I loved the growl. The growl was clean. Absolutely. It was, was so clean. And the um again, I, I mentioned the reservedness of the uh, clean vocals having to almost forcibly listen to it but that also is kind of that whisper when you're going through this type of a moment of do i stop or do i continue on or do i take the power and that's kind of like the crossroads is what i really felt with this song well done you took a lot out of this, this is an incredible new band for us assurance if you enjoyed this as well please hit the like button so we know that we should bring more assurance down the rabbit hole and please go to assurances channel themselves so they can get some love from the chronicans and hit that subscribe button while you are there for us also the band members again kane anthony on the vocals joe hammond on the guitars and martin nicholson on the drums congrats guys on your new ep that is coming yeah, out absolutely. april 12th that's only seven days from now 
once this is out. So hopefully you guys had a good time with us, but we are now exiting the rabbit hole, folks. Thank you so much for being here with us. This was absolutely amazing. I'm really excited to see what else from Assurance comes down the rabbit hole. I think the song was a great introduction to such an ambitious band. Yes. Because the song is purely about ambition on in of itself as well. So it really shows everything that they are striving towards. So if you, you guys know what to do, go give them a like. Thank you so much, everyone. Peace and love. God bless y'all. Take care and bye for now. Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me A Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support. Hey guys, thank you so much for making it this far in the video. If you like this channel, remember to subscribe right here. And if you want to subscribe to the artist that you just heard, remember, it is right here. And if you're excited to see another video that we think you might like, click here. Thank you so much, Chronicles, for making it this far. We love you so much.